Hey, welcome back. Gary Brown, Fortune On. <clears throat> uh, taking a little bit of time today just to talk about um, a challenge that was going around. It made me think about um, my Slack tub, and it was a mank, mank tank or manky tank, M A N K or M A K Y <clears throat> challenge that some of the blacksmiths were challenging each other on and asking uh, uh, to show their their uh, Slack tub or or just whatever, you know, their their tank they used for everyday work. And a lot of them were pretty nasty, uh, <clears throat> but most of those were ones, if they're right next to their uh, anvil, or a lot of them, they keep <clears throat> five-gallon buckets of water underneath their belt, <clears throat> bell sanders. Um, not talking too good right now, I've been... We're in a respirator for about seven hours while welding this thing up back over here. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, but it made me think about, about mine, and mine's not bad. I don't I don't do belt grinding. I'm not a knife maker. Uh, I made a knife. I make some more sometime just for myself, but I'm not really a knife maker by trade. So I don't. And I, even though I want to get a belt grinder, I don't have one right now. So all mine is just for uh, cooling off stuff while I'm working. Um, and what I use is this right here. Here, let me go over. And it's really not all that. that it's just got some sediment in the bottom. Some of this yellow stuff floating around is uh, is actually uh, beeswax. <clears throat> but what I did is I bought this. from, um, I think, Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Set that back. And uh, <clears throat> I can't remember if it was Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, if I could find it, I'll put a link down there just so you know where to go get it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm going to build a little cart. Now, a lot of guys will use a big, the big, larger, round tubs but uh, this works fine for me it's long enough that you know i can put stuff down in there i usually have more water in it but it had it's been freezing and evaporating and I haven't been out here much lately using it so um, i haven't done much with it i haven't even changed that water and it's not even that bad i haven't changed that water in months and months but uh <clears throat> um, some people brought up uh some different things that and so i just want to I just want to talk about uh, slack tubs or tanks and some things that might be helpful. I saw a lot of plastic five-gallon buckets, and they work okay. <clears throat> uh, I found out real quick when I was taking my green coal class that um, um, when we were working, and of course we're blacksmith and forging, and things are getting hot, and we're having to drop it down in there. <clears throat> and you're only going to get, you know, if you end up having a long, hot piece, and it's getting hot on your hand, and you can go down there and kind of heat. I do each in. A lot of times you just drop it in there. And we had metal, metal five-gallon buckets. <clears throat> well, only some of them were metal. Some were plastic. And I found out the hard way. I had something hot, and I used to have by my the forge I was using all the time during my class. Uh, I had a metal one. And I went in one day and I was doing it. And I dropped <clears throat> a long rod in there. Uh, I don't even remember what it was right now, <clears throat> but I'd been working on it, and the whole thing was getting hot. And I dropped dropped it down there and just let it cool while I did something else. <clears throat> and when I dropped it down in, uh, of course, it rested on the side, and it just started melting through. And it melted about that far down into uh, the plastic before I realized it and took it out and had a big slot melted into the side of the five-gallon bucket. <clears throat> so I knew then and there I didn't want to ever use a five-gallon bucket for my... Uh, for my slack tub to cool things off. <clears throat> and uh, another thing we did, because it gets awful hot, and we got some big wooden barrels at, at the blacksmith shop, the Guild the Forge I belong to, which is in uh, Rutherford County Blacksmith Association in Murfreesboro. <laughs> they have some big tubs too. Uh, but one thing in the w summertime, I've heard people mention about uh, worrying about mosquitoes in their slack tubs. And one thing that they do at, at the forge we're at is they'll just put um, a few, I don't know how many, just a few drops of oil on in the slack tub. Doesn't really hurt anything, but it makes a 
like a little, you know, I'll, I'll spread and make like a little oil film, colorful oil film on top of the on top of the water. But basically, that produces mosquitoes uh, breeding in their in their tub, and at least it's supposed to. <clears throat> I haven't tried it. Uh, I haven't done it in this one because um, uh, just hadn't taken the time to do it. And and this stays indoors most of the time. I've got one outside, and it and it uh, it's a big tub. It's one of those ones about almost three foot diameter galvanized tubs, and it's next to my coal forge. It's empty right now, but <clears throat> but I probably during the summer if I start using it, I'm thinking about going back out using the coal forge more. I will uh, I'll end up uh, putting a few drops of you know motor oil or just regular oil in there and uh, letting it just create a little oil slick so it it you know keeps the bugs out. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about. Yeah, I'm going to make a cart for this, and um, I don't know if you can see or not. And I'm going to make a cart next. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to move my tripod around. I made this uh, this tank this cart for my for my gas forward, so I can roll it around. And uh, if you can see down here at the bottom, uh, let me see if I can find it right about there. There you go. You see I got a raised bar over that. And I want to make another cart that's about the same height as all of this. That's a three-legged and it'll roll under this and it'll roll underneath that that one there. Um, and then my slack tub will sit on top of it and it'll be like, you know, it'll be like right up here. I got I'm put a shelf here so I can just keep my uh, uh, Things like, you know, flux powder or anything I want to keep, tools, tongs. And, and but I'm gonna have my slack tub down here where I can roll it and it'll be sticking kinda of out some and I can keep my handles cool. Um, that's one one of the tricks I learned from a full time blacksmith. Sorry for all the movement. Uh, one of the tricks for the full time blacksmith I know is uh, and several of them I've seen, I know, do this, is they'll keep the slack tub right underneath there full of water, and then they'll even put a piece of expanded metal on top of the on top of the slack tub so they can keep their tools. I made a shelf, which maybe I didn't need to make a shelf, but I did. But they'll they'll put the they'll leave maybe an end open and just lay a piece of scrap expanded metal on top, and they can lay their stuff on top of it, or they can go down into the water. And uh, and they'll keep a big rag to soak in there, and when they got their their you know, workpiece in the gas forge, because that these gas forge, you know, the flame shooting out the end heats heats everything up where you want to hold on to it. They'll just take a big old wet you know sopping rag or towel, and they'll pick it up, and they'll kind of wrap it around the piece of work metal, and then uh, keep it cool. So then when they Go to work it again. They can just pull that off, drop it down in the water. And they've got a cool handle without having to worry about you know getting burned or something. So anyway, that's all I want to say about slack tubs. Um, you know, you may have some different ideas about slack tubs. Like I said, a lot of people use the plastic buckets because they're just catching you know uh, belt grinding, uh, you know sparks and stuff in there. Works fine. I think next to your hot work where you're dropping stuff in there to get, you know, if it's getting hot and you drop it in there and just let it go because it's too hot in your hands, you're better off having a metal five gallon bucket or a metal tub. It's just my opinion. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day and uh, hope you subscribe and like and all that fun stuff and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.